Hello my friends, my name is Shakti Raj Singh and today I will be sharing you my interview experience at Bharat Electronics Limited. The interview was held at Bengaluru. First of all, let me tell you some basic details about the examinations for which I had applied. So I had applied for fixed tenure engineer vacancy at Bharat Electronics Limited. The examination was held in the month of January and there were 125 questions. In the month of February, the answer key was released, but there was no response means the options which the person has marked. So based on our memory, we have to just check if we, how much score we are getting just based on the answer key. So there were some questions for which either the question is wrong or there were incorrect answer. So we can uh, raise the objection on the questions on whichever we think the option is given wrong or the question is wrong based on some basic uh, description that why we feel so. So after release of this uh, answer key, uh, after two, three weeks, the updated answer key is released. So in that, I think in around uh, three or four questions, either the options were changed or the marks were allotted to all the candidates. So after this uh, updated answer key, the final result was declared. I had secured 60.75 marks out of 125 marks in this written examination. And based on this, uh, I was shortlisted for the interview. In the interview, uh, one is to five candidates were called for the interview. So basically there were 48 vacancies for the Bangalore location for which I had applied. So based on the calculation, 240 students must have been called for the interview. My interview was scheduled on 13th of March at 12 p.m. I reached Bangalore in the evening of 12 and in the morning uh, at around 11.30 p.m. I reached the officers club. So it was a very means peaceful environment and the overall Bangalore, uh, overall bail campus was also good. So the overall interview was scheduled in a guest house. It was named as Atithi. I reached there and everyone was informal and everyone was just checking their documents. And I feel there were around 15 to 20 students, including me, uh, waiting for the interview. Uh, so I also asked the person that what next we have to do. Uh, the person provided me three forms, one TA form, the other one was the form for the basic details of ourselves and one more form was there for the work experience and other details. So after filling these forms, uh, I had verified these forms from the associated bail members. So after uh, verifying your overall application, basically they will be checking your class 10 certificate, class 12 certificate and your graduation degree, your work experience, if you have mentioned in your application. And uh, you have to also bring your written examination admit card. And the one and the most important thing, you have to bring photocopies of all the original documents which you are showing because all the photocopy would be attached along with your application form. Uh, basically, all this photocopy and all over things uh, a kind of booklet would be created for your personal thing and it would be provided to the interview panel so they can see all the information about yourself. So I had my data verification done and it was around 12.30 p.m. Uh, they asked us to have lunch because it was a lunch time till 1.30 p.m. So I didn't have my lunch, I just had some coconut water because I thought my interview can come soon so that's why and yeah the overall nervousness that why to focus on eating and all this stuff. So uh, after 1.30 p.m. Uh, we again gathered there and uh, one by one persons were getting called for the interview. I think uh, before me around 10 to 12 persons were interviewed and uh, for each person it was taking around 15 to 20 minutes. If the person is a fresher then the interview was going for around 20 minutes and if he or she is an experienced person then interview could last for around 12 to 15 minutes. Uh, for me, I was asked to come inside at around 4.30 pm which was very late 
and when i just went inside so it was a kind of waiting lobby so before me also four five students were there i was just asked to sit in the sequence i just sat there and uh, i could easily calculate that before me four students have to give the interview so around uh, four into 20 minutes maximum 80 minutes would be taken and minimum 60 minutes would be taken so after uh, 1.5 hour means after sitting there for 1.5 hour i was called for the interview so i just went inside and i greeted uh, good morning sir good morning ma'am but then sir suddenly said me it's not morning so i just thought yeah it's not morning i came in morning but now it's evening so i just corrected myself and said uh, sorry sir good evening good evening sir good evening ma'am and good evening sir so actually there were three persons one ma'am was sitting in the middle and uh, two sir were there on the left and right side so they just asked me to sit down i sat down there and uh, they asked me from where you came so i told them i'm from varanasi they said okay sir just asked me shakti introduce yourself so i just uh, gave my introduction regarding my uh, place from where i belong my schooling graduation my interest hobbies my work experience all this stuff i would like to mention here for the person if you are going to introduce yourself for this particular thing uh, do mention the year in which you have completed your particular schooling and your graduation because for me they were asking individually uh, when you completed this when you completed that because i was not mentioning these things in my interview uh, sorry in my introduction uh, thereafter they asked me about my family members means who are there in your family so i just told them and then he asked about my father and then about my brother thereafter he just asked me some basic questions regarding my job experience and why i want to join bail so this is a very kind of basic question that why i want to join bail i just said sir bail is one of the most prestigious esus of our india for electronics and uh, i have also heard that work culture in bail is very peaceful and good so for this particular reason i wanted to join bail they after they asked me shakti uh, have you read any particular subject so i said yes sir i have read digital electronics so they asked uh, from where did you read so i said sir i have read it from morris mano means morris mano is a kind of very famous book most of you have heard or read from it so he said uh, after a very long time i have heard someone that uh, he or she have read something from a standardized book so i just kept a small smile on my face so there after he asked me the very basic question uh, what is a uni- what is a universal gate so i just answered it and the types of universal gate so basically i mentioned four types of universal gate the two the basic nand and nor which we all must be knowing and apart from it i also mentioned the implication and inhibition the x bar y and x plus y bar means it's kind of a tricky thing because most of us know there are two but in technical terms there are four so after that uh, he asked me regarding flip flops what are flip flops so i said flip flops are just a basic storage element and they are invented because we are ha- having some issues with the lashes uh, the issues of getting the what we can say undesirable undesirable state on the pulse triggering so he said okay thereafter he asked me types of flip flops so i just mentioned the d flip flop jk flip flop t flip flop he said shakti are we done or you are missing some flip flop so i said yeah sir the basic flip flop sr is also there but sr is not used then he asked me the difference between sr flip flop and jk flip flop so i said jk flip flop has three states the set reset and the complement one and the basic one the no change uh, state and in the sr flip flop we have just set and reset uh, there is also a state which is forbidden in which we don't require it so for that uh, forbidden reason means to avoid that forbidden state and to avoid uh, the other barriers we use jk flip flop so he was satisfied with my answer there after he said shakti you have very good knowledge in digital means i was expecting some more questions related to counters shift registers or some sequential questions more detailed sequential question but it was not asked these are some basic digital electronics question there after he asked me 
question related to communication means what is the difference between FM and AM. So we must have read about it. So I just told him about the basic differences. Then he asked me, um, okay Shakti, tell me about ISO network layering, something like that. Means these kind of questions were asked in written examination also, but I was not prepared for it and for the interview also. He asked me and I said, no, sorry, sir, I can't recall right now. So he said, okay, no problem. Uh, then the other person asked me, Shakti, what is the difference between BJT and MOSFET? First of all, he asked me to give the full form of both the devices. So I just gave it. Then I told him the basic differences. Thereafter, the person asked me regarding the OPAMP. What is an OPAMP? What are its functions? So I told about it. What are things? So this was done for the technical part. Thereafter, um, they started asking about the city from where I belong. So I belong from Varansi. So the person started, means one of the panelists was from Varansi. So he asked very basic question. Shakti, tell me why Banaras has been renamed as Varanasi. So it was a very simple question. I have read and heard about it. But at that moment of time, maybe uh, I was too much tired for sitting for the interview. I was not able to recall the exact reason. So I said, sorry, sir, I can't recall right now. He said, Shakti, everyone in the whole world know about this. Why don't you know? So I said, sorry, sir, I can give it a try. But the try was also wrong. So he just told me why, the, what's the reason about it. <clears throat> Thereafter, he asked me to tell some uh, uh, why Varansi is famous. So I just told him about the temples, the cards, the Varansi sari, the Varansi pan, and all these things. He asked me some co more questions related to the cards. So I just uh, told about him all these details. Thereafter, they were done with the interview and uh, the panelist asked me to leave. So I thanked everyone and I just came out of the interview room. And I was very much satisfied with my interview because uh, they were just asking the very basic questions and uh, the overall environment uh, means overall environment for the interview was very peaceful and kind means uh, hardly anyone would be feeling pressurized at that particular interview room because they were very friendly while talking. And uh, yeah, the interview lasted for around 10 12 minutes and uh, some basic technical questions and questions related to myself. This was all. And then I left uh, to my guest house and I was very much tired. I, I just had my lunch after reaching the room. This was all. Uh, if, you, if you want to know from where I have prepared for the written examination or the interview, and how the written examination is conducted, the number of questions asked, uh, the portion from where they asked most of the question. Just comment down and also comment down any other doubts if you have. And if you learn something new from this video, then just like this video, share with your friends and subscribe to this channel for more amazing learnings. Um, I would see you in the next video. Thank you.